Today in Photoshop, we are going to be digitally punching someone in the face. Well, at least we're going to be simulating a black eye in Photoshop. Often you will want to remove a black eye in Photoshop, but putting one on photos of friends and family is just more fun. So the first step in creating this effect is to go up to Filter and then Liquify. Only changing the color of the area around the eye is not going to be enough because you need to also simulate the swollen effect. Within Liquify, start using the Forward Warp tool to pull the image around the eye. The idea is not to go overboard, but to make the area look swollen. You can also use the Bloat tool within Liquify to enhance the swelling effect. As each photo will be different, use your best judgment in using the Liquify tools. When you are done, the eye should look swollen and deformed. You will see that the eye in your photo looks somewhat squished. To fix this squished eye, grab the history brush and paint over the eyeball to correct this issue. Now it is time to really add some depth to this effect. To do this, we will start layering nasty colors around the eye. First make a feathered elliptical marquee selection around the eye and then add a curves adjustment layer. Now drag the curve down some to start darkening the swollen eye. After that, go over and grab your brush tool. Make sure that the hardness is low on the brush so that you get nice soft edges. After that, create a new layer. Now paint on a nice dark blue around the main area of the eye. I am using the hex code 041B2B. Then set the blending mode of this layer to soft light and then lower the opacity. Next we need to enhance the bruising effect and throw in some yellow. Make a new layer and paint some on. I'm going to be using hex code value F1 F075. Once you have some yellow thrown in, set the blending mode to multiply and lower the opacity of the layer. Next we need to add in some dark purple around the lower and upper areas of the eye to give more depth. I am using a hex value of 2C152D. 2 2 when you are done, set the blending mode to soft light and lower the opacity. So, there we have it. We have now completed a pretty nice black eye effect in Photoshop. Keep in mind that you can tweak the colors and add in more for a more gnarly effect. Make sure and use reference material to get it just right. So as always, if you enjoyed this Photoshop tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.